Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to more Crossing of Fires. Because we crossed that fires, yo. Anyway, in the last episode, we had assaulted a Xeon base and stole it. And in this episode, we must do the same thing, apparently. So we're going to launch a diversionary tactic against a naval base. Because, yeah, that's what's happening. We have till tomorrow, so we actually have a turn to upgrade and repair and whatever else we have to do. But from what I'm told, this game get or this ba this place gets absolutely zero frame rate. Like, I did a little test just to check it out. I got about six frames per second on average, maybe up to eight sometimes. So I've turned variable bit rate or VBR off and variable frame rate off, uh, variable bit rate and variable frame rate, to hopefully not screw up this video. Because if I leave them both on, it's gonna end up turning it into a music file or an audio track with like no video. It's happened before. It's one of the main ways it gets corrupted. So hopefully it doesn't do that, but if there's any graphical glitches or anything, I apologize. But from what I've checked out, it should actually come out a little bit smoother since the game's so slow. If it was on full 30 frames at the time, it would look really bad, but it'll be a little bit boost, somewhere around 15 or so. But anyway, we have some gym who needs to be repaired because I did something stupid with the bazooka last time, I'm pretty sure. And there's the there's Jimmy D who we're about to upgrade. It's Kukulov and his GM, which Kukulov's not dying today. I know, surprising. And then there's uh, what's his face in a gym cannon. So actually, he needs a mean weapon upgraded. Apparently, if you upgrade their defense, we'll actually get them a shield, and the AI actually uses shields occasionally. And Whereas the AI, the enemy can shoot through the AI, and the AI can shoot through the enemy, if the AI has their shield up, it has a hitbox. No explanation why that actually works, that's just how it works. So we're going to upgrade weapons, get it full, just in case I ever decide to use the gym cannon, because it doesn't have the beam gun yet, or beam rifle. The beam rifle is apparently really good. And I think once we get it to 7 it gets it, or maybe it's 8, I don't know. But 8's the max level. After that, we'll start upgrading defense. I don't know how long it takes to get that shield, but we'll try to get that shield. And here, we already have our main weapon upgraded. So we're just going to upgrade our attack, which will only give us melee up. So, whatever. Maybe our melee will actually do enough damage by the end. And yeah, we can't do that one, and I don't really care for Kukulov. We'll just give him one of my gyms once we get the next mobile suit I decide to buy. Oh, and so I've been thinking about it, and where do we go? We go to that one. I'm thinking about it, and I think we're just going to skip the gym, uh, the ground gym, because, yeah, it's basically just a gym with less boost and more armor. It's entirely not what I want in this game, because more armor is not going to help us a good goddamn anyway. So why do we need it? Instead, we're going to wait till we get a ground Gundam, just because I want a ground Gundam. Maybe a gun cannon. I've heard those are in the game, and they get pretty good. And so, I think I'll get both of those. But yeah, and then after that, I think we're going to wait for the Easy 8 or the Striker. I don't know which one comes first, but whichever comes first, we'll get. Then we'll get the other one and end the game using that. Since I'm not playing on very hard, I don't get a Gundam. But I don't really care. I don't plan on playing this on very hard, just so you know. But yeah, let us end the turn. And our melee went up. Who would have guessed? Also, their main weapon's maxed out now. Good for them. So, Jim Cannon, and yes, Harry Shields is having a bad day. He caught Kukulov's cough. I upgrade the weapon on this one. And we're going to upgrade our Jim. Because we're not using it, we're using the Jim D. So we're going to customize this one's attack. Get its melee up. I don't know why we're still upgrading this thing, since we're going to get rid of it soon, but eh. Who cares? And we actually have to do a mission now, which is a naval base. And if I remember correctly, we don't have any allies on this one. Yeah, so we gotta divert the enemy attack, engage them from the front lines, and weaken their defenses. Oh, god damn it! Not again. Okay, this is a divisionary attack. Thus, we're attacking through the front door, and we're gonna end up just killing the front line, because these plans totally make sense. If this was Sankey, I would say they're gonna try to kill us so they can join the Titans, but yeah, that's not going to happen yet. They just really don't like us, apparently. Yeah, we're about to go attack the front door of an enemy base that's well defended. 
I think we're gonna use a sniper rifle this time, though. With the jungle completely under our control, we are in a position to move on the enemy naval base. We will now commence our first strike. This strike will focus on the elimination of the enemy defense forces. A small diversionary unit will draw the enemy away from their defensive line. Wipe out as many of them as you can. Basically, hey, we already control Borneo, so we're going to go assault the naval base that was giving us problems. Yeah, go attack through the front door. Here, have a stick. But they have mobile suits. Have a bigger stick. But yeah, we're going to take the sniper rifle, which has a shit ton of damage. About six times, or five times what the beam gun does. Just about, a little bit less, actually. Really good range, because sniper rifle. And only seven rounds of ammo. That's going to be exciting. So basically, we use this on the mobile suits, and we use head Vulcans on everything else. And hopefully, hell, we don't run out of ammo, since we can't bring anyone else. We can't switch mobile suits either, which kind of sucks, but we'll use the sniper rifle. Make sure it's set, just in case. So yeah, we'll snipe the enemy, and then use head Vulcans on the tanks. So you know there's going to be tanks. Or APCs. Commencing diversionary oh, and we're attacking them with hover trucks. Great. Enemy away from their base. Oh. And gun tanks. Destroy as many as possible to wear them down. Until the mission is done, fight to the last man. And that's that sexy frame rate. I don't know if you guys can tell it, but I'm getting a solid six. To the last man? Are we a bunch of pawns? Yes, yes, you are. In fact, no way I'm dying. that I'll is a gal. Yes, that is in fact a gal. Come back alive. Bring it on. I'm taking you all down. <laughs> I actually killed it in one shot. Nice. So this is it, huh? Time to tear things up then. And that is a GM cannon and a Galf, so or a Zaku cannon. And we only shot a shoulder off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna waste one more shot. We're also getting shot at. The sensitivity on this thing is really bad, though. There. So. Ah, oh, Magellan Top Cannon tanks. Who would have guessed? Yep. We gotta be careful, we only have 500 rounds for our head Vulcans. There you are. APC this time. Got any mobile suits or just tanks? And no, I wouldn't be surprised if the AI actually gets defeated by tanks. Damn it. He quit moving. There. Now I don't really have to worry about him. I'll melee him later. One of the gun cannons lost their arm. Damn. I don't know if that was from the tank or the uh, Zaku cannon. But I currently can't reach him right now. Oh, they took him out. All right. I didn't take any severe. I didn't take any significant damage, so it's all good. Plus, I just noticed that Snipe Rifle's camo totally doesn't match the rest of us. Would have been better to paint it black. Or brown. Hey, I only took 6% damage. Sweet. Gonna get an S rank. Oh, that free moolah, which we will use to not buy mobile suits. Or new pilots, because fuck AI. Yep, definitely an S. And now we have a mission to capture the naval base, which we didn't already do. Also, the mass production gun cannon. We might actually buy that. And Philip Hughes. Uh, Langston Hughes' son, who's a mobile suit pilot. And Luong Le Fai. Le Fai? Luong Le Fai. 
And the well, the GM's melee damage is up. Yay! And the GM cannon has a melee weapon now? Alright. Um, sounds useful. We also leveled up, so we're like five times better than the AI instead of four. I need to check when that next mission is. Let's see. Naval base, we have to the fourth. Let's see. Do we have anything in the ruins? We have some urban warfare training. We don't care about that. Military base. Some defense training. We don't care about that. And some... Oh, shit. We do have a mission. And we have told... We have two more days to do it, so... Eh, it's not that bad. Thought we'd have to do it today, but we have to rescue some Medeas. That'll be fun. Though, since we have to rescue some Medeas, I'm assuming that they're, they're gonna be on the ground, but we're gonna be fighting planes, because that's what you use to take out a Medea. You don't send mobile suits. So, we're gonna need something with a machine gun if we're gonna shoot flying units. I know how this game works. So we'll use this gym, and we'll give him, we'll keep upgrading his attack. So he does a ton of damage. Yeah, you're getting repaired even though you took six freaking points of damage. Or we could use the gym cannon, because they have a machine gun too. Nah. Okay, so we're going to upgrade defense. Gets a shield. But I'm interested to know what its melee weapon is. So yeah, we have two days from now. And the attack's up. Ooh, shot damage. That's gonna be useful. And less shot damage, or less ar or more armor. Less shot damage for the GM cannon, or gym cannon. Um, we still have one day, so we're gonna upgrade again. We're going to customize, we're going to customize attack. I think it was the second, I need to go check. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Yep, we have till the second, so we have one more day. Which is good for us. Going to add more melee attack. Because that'll actually increase our shot damage, I think. And you were going to add defense. And I really don't want to upgrade Kukulev, or Kukulov, but I feel like I should. Because we're just going to get rid of him and give him like my old gym or the Jimmy D. So what's the point in upgrading his his gym? Yeah, so we have to the Medea. Oh, somebody named Agar has We're able to get in a guy named Agar. I don't know who that one is. Oh, and we got Jack Byard. He's the Halloween guy. His birthday was like two days ago. He piloted the GPO Zero and the Mark II in that one manga in which the pirates do the most non-pirate thing they can do and complain when they capture military hardware. Whatever. Yeah, now the shot damage is up on that one too. And let's shot damage on the GM cannon, or the gym cannon. So, do we want to bring the gym or the Jimmy D? I kind of want to bring the Jimmy D on the next mission, but the gym has the, um, has a bazooka. Hmm. This is tough. Yeah, we'll bring the Jimmy D on this one, and then we'll bring the gym on the with the bazooka next time. So, so you both have machine guns, right? You start with a machine gun. Yeah, you have a 90 millimeter machine gun. Customize. We're going to add to your attack, and we're going to add to your defense. It'll probably only get them a claw shield, but still, having any form of shield is better than no form of shield. But anyway, folks, that was that. I will include the next battle in the next episode. So if you liked the video, you should like.